Hello, I'm Neil Quigley and welcome to my short weekly comedy podcast. A man has been charged with throwing an egg at Jeremy Corbyn. He claimed it was just a yoke, but the Labour leader was left shell-shocked. Council tax bills are set to rise all over the country. Good to know that all that money that we will be saving by not being in the EU is helping to keep UK living costs down. Anyone else remember the halcyon days of the poll tax riots? A time when we were all in agreement about something. Are Momentum the worst name group ever? As they never really generated any, the only thing that did gather momentum was the amount they spent. The Scottish National Party are trying to campaign for the Brexit date to be put back. The country that wanted to be separated from England is now keen to stay in Europe, even though, had they split from the UK, that would have initially taken them out of Europe. Confused? Don't be. They're just doing the political version of the hokey cokey. Hillary Clinton has ruled out running for president next year. Two-time failed candidate is yet another moniker that she could do without. There's a big fuss about chlorine wash chicken coming from America. All I'm saying is that when I've been swimming, it takes three days to get rid of the smell, and I certainly do not fancy eating myself during this period. The government forced all health information to be put on food packaging and put restrictions on supermarkets, yet delivery food services like Just Eats Profits keep on going up. So we're not even going into shops and we're too lazy to cook our own food. No wonder obesity is on the increase. The owners of Giraffe are closing a third of their restaurants after being advised by the bank to wind their neck in. Teenagers are now buying drugs via social media on their phones. They're thought to be using a brand new networking website called Off Your Facebook. YouTube is switching off all comments on videos featuring under 18s. That should stop Charlie biting people's fingers. Disappointment this week as it turns out the man running Ted Baker was not a teddy, although he did seem to like hugging everyone. Weight Watchers have suddenly discovered how to shed pounds quickly. Their profits are down by almost 50 million compared to last year. Virgin Atlantic has dropped the requirement for female cabin staff to wear makeup, although if I was dressed in all red, I would be wearing loads to disguise myself. EasyJet is the best airline for carbon emissions, while Ryanair is the worst for any emissions, as you have to pay to go to the toilet. Joss Stone played a gig in Syria as part of her quest to try and play in every country continues. She hopes to play in Turkey and the Canary Islands on the same day to kill two birds with one stone. If you think there is no justice in the world, you could be right, as Kylie Jenner has just become the world's youngest self-made billionaire. To encourage more women to have regular specific health checks, the government are rebranding the smear test in a new advertising campaign. They're pitching it as more of an MOT, or more accurately, a yearly cervix. This week, there was an attempt at the naked roller coaster riding world record in Blackpool at the aptly named Pleasure Beach. Surprise this week, as a teacher from Birmingham won £500,000 on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and decided to stay teaching and living in the Midlands. The Royal Family have announced they will block and report trolls on their social media sites, which I'm guessing will be a full-time job for someone. I preferred the old days when they lived under bridges and occasionally gave you riddles to solve. The Hello Kitty image is going to get its own film. It's been used on clothing and other merchandise for years and now gets the big screen treatment. This is like the reverse of the Disney business model. Racism taken to a new level amongst claims Will Smith's skin is too light to play the darker skinned father of the Williams sisters in a film about their life. It's called acting. It's a film. If we could accept a hairy Wookiee talking babies and the fact that a DeLorean could go back in time, we can suspend disbelief enough to make this casting work. I think. Tottenham Hotspur went into Europe this week. They battled hard, did not concede any ground and came away with a narrow victory. First time we can say that about a team sent there from England since before the Brexit negotiations began. Bournemouth manager Eddie Howe has been given the freedom of Bournemouth, which is something his team have offered lots of opposing teams who have visited the South Coast this year. Naneetan Borough are charging people £50 to have a trial for the team. How much will it then cost if you get selected? I was annoyed enough at paying £5 for subs for Sunday football. This is such a bad deal, I can only presume Chris Graylin is involved in some way. Ex-Radio 2 DJ Simon Mayo launched new classical radio station Scala this week. He played three songs on his three-hour show. The world's most expensive car, a brand new Bugatti, has just been sold for £9.5 million. Where would you actually drive it? Not in England. There are too many potholes and you would never find a car parking space big enough in any of our car parks. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for listening. Have a fantastic week. Have fun. Cheers.